are watching Worldwide Exchange from Europe, Asia, and the United States. And Google's missed pushing its shares down more than 10% at one point. Uh, let's bring in Larry Fischelson, COO of DynaLink, and of course still with us is Ellen Zentner from Nomura. Uh, let's just start with the broad brush questions. What, what did you think of the earnings overall? I think the big thing of the earnings is the big IT push. So you see enterprise sales up, and that's all about the cloud services. There's a big push because of cybersecurity. So I thought that was very interesting. You know, enterprise software is the big play here, and it didn't get hit by the Eurozone issues and, and other outlying recession issues. So Alan and I were talking about maybe it was enterprise was about efficiency. You're talking about it just to, to boost their, their protection of, uh, of their product. Protection of their product, and a lot of companies now will spend money on IT, cloud, and enterprise because they have to. So at the end of the day, economies of scale, even if they put an investment now into the IT, they will make money in the long run on it by the savings that they have with it. So, you know, the old school is no longer. It's now about enterprise IT software. But is that stealing some of the share away from what companies are spending on advertising? Because it felt like advertising revenues were sort of down in the fourth quarter. Is, yeah. is some of that being shifted toward these other areas of technology spending? Right. I think the advertising is, is, is a whole different play than the enterprise IT software. That's really the backbone of the company's services. The advertising is what affected Google. Mm -hmm. Now, we were talking before about Google. What I think is, you know, it's very ambiguous on that earnings call, what happened with that cost per click. Right. They're saying that they got a lot of clicks, but you know, people didn't go to the higher end advertisements. I believe that a lot of that business went to Facebook because we saw Q3, they were up 30% Google sales, so that, and there was big, you know, over the holidays, there was big online sales. I think Facebook has a lot to do with that. Right, and Ross has a question. Yeah, no, so just, just picking up on that. I, viewers. I, just, oh, yeah, I, I wonder also yeah. whether um, it had something to do with weaker macro environment outside of the United States. Maybe that is where a weaker Europe impacted Google. I mean, you've got a lot of analysts in Google in the States maybe not working out how the Eurozone debt crisis has impacted them. Well, I, I know they mentioned on the earnings call that they had some issues in Germany, so, so it is possible. That definitely is possible, but if, if you underlie and look at it, because of the number of clicks, I do, but you know, you can look at it as they weren't, you know, the same amount of advertising, but I do believe that it has to do with Facebook taking a big market share. Now, we haven't been able to really see, you know, Facebook's got the big IPO coming out this year, so we haven't been, been able to see the numbers, what would happen with them in Europe, but I do see that, that's a good point, but I, I do feel that's an underlying factor. You know, so, Larry, just for the, 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 the take out for, for yeah. viewers, you, you think that Facebook is cannibalizing a little bit in, into Google. Absolutely. The, the, which is fascinating. Right? We both perked up when we talked about it off People camera. People spend a lot more time clicking around on Facebook than they do on Google. They'll stay on Facebook for hours during the day. Yeah. Google, right. they go for a quick search and maybe they pop back off and go back to Facebook. But I never thought about it as a, as a conduit for me to go buy something, right? So the question is, is this a long-term threat. Is this a real legitimate threat this to is, Google? Th yes, this is a real legitimate threat. There's a war, there's an advertising war right now. Make no mistake, and it's Google versus Facebook. And the tech sector this year worldwide is going to be driven by we're talking about a 100 billion dollar IPO, which is incredible. Yeah. We saw worldwide the power of Facebook. We saw the uprisings in social media that it drives. So this is powerful stuff in Google. Google now has a real competitor. Wow, that's fascinating. Listen, appreciate the insight and the conversation. Larry Fischelson, COO of DynaLink, and of course, Ellen will be with us the remainder Thank you. of the hour. Ross, back to you.